press design welcome and a very happy new year to you thank you for visiting with me today and we're going to make a little project a little I'm calling them photo cards um, and I have a couple of surprises for you but let's get started um, happy new year again here's to a much better 2024. Thank you to April, Natalie, and Carolyn for your um, nice reviews and purchases. And thank you, Marie, for your nice comments. And Lynn, thank you for that wax paper tip. I am definitely going to try that. Um, Lynn said that you can um, iron napkins between two sheets of wax paper and make some nice wrapping paper. And you know, you guys know I love, I love my wax paper. I did recently see that you could um, iron things on freezer paper, so I also want to try that. But I haven't, I don't have any. So, um, next time I go to the store, I'll pick some up. Um, I have a couple surprises for you today. Um, I did this, I found this, I did this antique ice skate. So that'll be a free download for you. And I also have from my vintage supply company what I use to make these little photo cards. Uh, consider yearbook photos. So I have a three pages from a yearbook PDF that's available on Vintage Supply Company and that you can uh, craft along with me today if you want to. I thought um, these little things would be cute for those of you that do these kind of envelope things or window tags. I don't particularly have any appropriate envelopes but you know those of you that make those little pull-out tags or window tags I thought these would be cute to add to something like that so we'll get started in a moment but first the usual I have couple new paper collections. Uh, this one is Victorian Florals and it's 10 pages. Gorgeous. Um, this will go good for any type of, if you're doing your summer journal, springtime, Paris, feminine, Ooh, there's 10 pages of lovely Victorian florals, multicolor. 
sure if I have. Yeah, all different, all different colors. So that's can't wait to do something with that. It's so pretty. And I have a new kit um, boudoir, which is uh, floral corsets. Uh, French, English, and Italian text, and I think it's seven pages. Very feminine, very pretty, nice for Valentine's Day. So I have all that. So what you'll be needing today are some black and white photos, your various ephemera for uh, layering. I made these two by three. I thought that was a cute little size to put on there. Some glue. Uh, Maybe a stapler if you want to put your tabs. And I'm probably going to top up here to get some more tape. Some stamps. I have a bunch of little stuff here for composition layering behind these photos. And I meant to cut that what I'm going to use for my tabs. So let me get some tape. Sorry. I went through almost an entire roll of tape and I might run out. So I've been, um, I think this might actually be a feature. So let me just choose my, I think I'll be able to get two done today. Uh, let me pick this distinguished guy here. And I'm pretty sure the pages I chose I'll be I'll be doing as well. So you can get a heads up on what they look like. And I pretty much just did a composition. I thought um, for today let's just keep it light. Everyone is probably if you're like me, you're probably um, getting ready to take down the tray, and if you haven't already, today's my daughter's first day back at school. So boy, did that go fast. I'm just going to fold these, not bother scoring. Okay, so I made some, oh, and you'll be needing some stamps, some glue. I made some homemade tickets. So I'm just going to be layering these up. Seeing what I might like to put on them in my little, I don't know if I want blue, probably not, even though I love that pillow ticking. Uh, let's see what I have in black. And I still, I barely touch these packages 
all summer, so I really have to um, start using up some of this stuff. Oh, these are kind of cool. These vintage magazine ads. Probably use a couple of those. With that little um, at my work. I put put these second ones on book pages and my work. I thought that was kind of appropriate for yearbook. That'll probably work. Uh, maybe some music. And can't go wrong with text. Maybe some of that. Okay, I'll keep that out. I've mostly been straightening up a little bit down here. Time for the annual purge. Try to get the new year started off right. But these yearbooks are cool. And it just just made me realize that's one more thing I don't have to go go out buying Tim Holtz stuff. So I thought you might like it too. Maybe I'm going to angle that ticket just to be a little different. Yeah, I think I am. Other than that, I've just been um, working diligently to get my shop updated. Mostly I am really, really hoping to gain some time this year so I can... I haven't made anything yet for my boutique. Haven't curated anything new. And it's really... It's really kind of bothering me that I have so little time to actually do the something besides sit at a computer. So I've got my list of all my products that will... don't want to lose that number. All right, I'm going stair step just because I don't want to lose that number. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I made this, um, Ticket with some oh coffee dyed paper, and I have this little. It's for the most part solid ticket stamp, but you can make out the little number. And then I just um, put my little number on there with that little date thing I picked up at Goodwill. Hardly ever use. It's 
So I was thinking, um, I might make this a series. Where I use junk and something old from my vintage supply company. Is my Luddite response to AI. I really think that's going to be the ticket. It's going to be the direction, you're, the, the only direction to um, counteract. Um, let's make a little piece of ephemera out of that. Uh, let's get some corners on there. I should. I wonder if I have any. Yeah, I do. Good. <laughs> have some ink on my sponge here. Okay. I was trying to layer these up as much as possible. And do a little stamping. We had our ham and sauerkraut yesterday. I don't know if you're, if that's a traditional dish for you or not. I know, I know, I think in the South they have, maybe it's not sauerkraut, maybe it's cabbage. We didn't have the lentils but we did have the uh, pork and sauerkraut and it was delicious. My daughter doesn't like sauerkraut. My husband being Italian I mean, they, I don't, they don't eat sauerkraut as much as, did I forget my stapler? Yes, I did. They don't eat sauerkraut as much as us German, German, Irish, Polish. Which is what I am. Oh shoot, I meant to do that the other way. I'm quite the mutt. German, Irish, Polish, and uh, how was the other one? Oh no, my Slovenian. So half, half from my mom and half from my dad. It sounds less, less like a love story than a bar fight. But my husband has grown to like German food. And my aunt, she sure could make um, the sauerkraut kielbasa dish that was fabulous. Okay, I'm going to add 
some more on top of there with some stamping. And then I'll probably add some tape. And maybe this one will just be a little different. And just damp. I like this typewriter case. So I hope you had a delicious dinner too. My cousin called me for New Year's. Saw my other cousin. He lives in a different town, but he came up to visit one of his friends and I saw him at Mass last week. I was about fell out of my chair. It's, you know, because like I said, he doesn't live here and walked around a corner and there's my cousin. Other than that, oh, I didn't meant to bring down. I had to make a thank you card. I forgot. I don't know if it's down here or not. I'll take a look here in a second. I'm not too thrilled with it, but I'm keeping it. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. This is my new embossing folder. I wanted to make these die cuts look like sugar cookies. I don't think I succeeded very well because that was what the thank you was for. Neighbor brought over a tin of cookies. They're delicious. And my nails are a mess. I'm sorry about the condition of my nails. I broke one off last night and oh my, did it hurt. Well, actually I pulled it off because it split and I knew it was going to come off. And um, I was like, well, it's probably going to hurt a lot less since I've been soaking my hands in more water. So I just bit the bullet. And then it hurt all night. But now it feels better, but it doesn't look better. I'll age these up after the video. Wait, I want those staples in the front. That one shifted a little bit. And it's not in there great, but good enough. Oh, geez, what's wrong with my stapler? That didn't work at all. Here goes another nail. Okay, let's see.
What else can I put? I don't have my Tim Holtz stuff out here. Maybe. Yeah. Just make a little row of numbers. Okay, just put that there. Go keep the border on the outside. Okay. Now a couple stamps. Um, guess I'll stick with black since I already have a little touch of red. Um, what am I going to put? Go put an E. Well, that didn't show up very well. I should have done it in red. Um, okay. stamping thing here. Well, maybe I'm going to do, let me see if I can get limited edition to show up on her. Yeah, not too bad. I think this one's too big. Well, let's try it. See what happens. This says original. I hope I get that original. Looks like baseball font. No, not too bad, not too great either. Maybe I should have done it in blue. Um, I think that's good for the stamping. Now let's just get some favorite tape. Where are we? 29. Okay. I've got some new GQs down here. Oh, that might look cool. Uh, I think I need something kind of bold. Hopefully red. Oh, perfect. Um. I'm going to put it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to get the whole thing. I know that. So. Just try for the
Uh, good enough, I guess. No, well, maybe not. You read it. Okay. Don't want to waste that. That's kind of cool. Looks like um, the logo on Converse sneakers. Let's try that. On my other one, I got the real world. Got something about Elvis. You have to look at the picture to read it, I'm sure, but okay, perfect. We need some glue. Get my creamy glue. I'll show you a close up of this in a second. I put that over the white of this shirt so it shows up. Burnish it in. we go. Do you see that? We stand up. Doesn't that look like Converse logo? <laughs> okay, something for her. This one, look at that number. I think it's number three. That one was cool. Um, Let's try that number. See what happens. See all this stuff? I feel like I don't need any stamps. I feel like I don't need anything anymore. I wish I would have known about this four years ago. Let's see what we get. That'll work. Looks like prison number. And it might be a little bit too. I'm gonna have to cut it in half. Some people work in Tim Holtz style all the time. I don't like covering her face that much. Just see that for later, or maybe put it on the 
guy. Okay, but I'm sure I can add some more to this and I probably will. Something maybe on top of that tab. But I'm pretty sure you get the gist. Get a piece of paper here. There's my other one. I printed a page of the teachers too because that guy kills me. Okay everyone, 36. I hope you have a lot of fun with this. The link will be in the description in the video for those two, the skates and the yearbook photos. So Happy New Year everyone. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.